Hello, 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 everyone, and good morning to you all. My name is Ava, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. And this is Stitching in the Interlight. Yes, yes, yes. So today is Tuesday, the 25th of June, 2024. Yes, indeed it is. And um, yeah, next time. Next week at this time, we'll already be into July. Wow, how fast the time is going. Oh, I got this thing that came up there and it just bugs me. <laughs> but uh, can't be helped, can't be helped. So what am I working on? Well, I am working on here on my nutcrackers and I'm right down here. And um, I will just, well, actually, I'm up here, <laughs> right there. Um, what was I going to say? Um, oh, this morning. Uh, I was sleeping so soundly, so good, everything else. And I guess it must have started about 3.30 or so. I started to have a nightmare. It was terrible. It was awful. Now, I don't know if I was screaming and yelling. And that's what woke me up. Was I thrashing about? I don't know. But, yeah. I, I I can still hear me screaming in my head. So um, it was um, it was not very good. I had a really um, in this nightmare. Um, I had a confrontation, and. Um, I put in my in my nightmare I put a face to the B word because that's all I can call it is a itch with a B and um, never met her have no interest in meeting it nothing but in my dream I fabricated and I was just screaming and yelling at yelling at it yeah oh and she wasn't the only one I was yelling at I was yelling at my husband too so yeah I um, I really pulled out all the stops and I just went yeah, so that's what woke me up this morning. Oh, joy, oh, joy, I tell you. What a way to wake up, I'm telling you. It's not, I don't know if many of you others, um, you know, deal with PTSD and... Um, you know, all the other stuff that goes along with it and um, nightmares and and that kind of thing. Yeah, but I do. But this one was particularly vicious. And uh, yeah, so I was awake. I don't know what time I looked at my phone. It's like I don't know, 10 to 4 or something. So I ended up getting out. I stayed in bed until 5, I think. And then I got out of bed. But if you've never suffered or lived with PTSD, complex PTSD, in my case, um... 
it is it's horrible it's just it's awful I uh, you know I always pray oh Lord please take this away and um, you know ease my ease my burden but sometimes it is that we need to experience things to have growth. So, unfortunately, that's it. And that is my brain's way and most people's brain's way of dealing with incidents and is to... Um, you know, have PTSD moments and that. So this, this is absolutely, it's um, not something that's unheard of with me. So, <clears throat> but anyway, anyway, I transgress. Uh, so... What did I watch? I watched, I watched Rama, R Rana, the scrapping grandma. She showed her cats and she showed, what was the other pattern? She had two different videos. Ha, can't remember it. Uh, brain fog. So that was nice. And then I watched this other uh, Stitcher, one I've never seen before. And uh, <clears throat> she showed a lot of her stuff. Uh, they were mostly samplers, but not the kind of samplers that I enjoy doing. I, I don't like them. I enjoy you know, different kinds of samplers. <clears throat> like my old Canada and, you know, things like that, right? Th those kind of samplers I like. So, yesterday was very windy. Very, very windy. Actually, I had to shut my phone not shut it off, um, turn the sound off. And because my camera outside was going off every few seconds. And I was tired of listening to this thing, just kind of, you know. So anyway, a couple of hours passed and I, it was still buzzing away and every once in a while I would go on there to delete them you know and I took a look at some of the pictures I thought what is that what is that <laughs> and I thought it was a rug that had flown up to the roof and come down no no it was the black stuff that they had put up on top of the the plywood there to hopefully prevent the rain from coming in and it really didn't it wasn't it's it was a barrier the only thing was it wasn't sealed properly at the top so all the rain would come in well now it is that thing the wind rolled it up and um it is now not covering most of the roof. And we are supposed to get heavy rain. I don't know if it's Thursday night, Friday for sure. But I don't know if it's coming Thursday night or not. So right now, there is very little between me and the skies above. So... Yeah, not uh, not very good. 
not very good. So yesterday I made a loaf of bread and oh, did it turn out good. Oh, was it good, was it good. Oh my gosh, it was good. Nice and it rose right up and delicate and fluffy and very good. Oh. So. And today it is <clears throat> very cloudy, windy again. Oh, if I didn't mention, tomorrow I'm going to Winnipeg. So I'm, I want to see, I'm hoping we can stop in at Lily, Li, the Lizzie B's in Winnipeg. Because we're not that far away from it. And I really want to, I want to ask her a few things. Um, because I'd like to do the next time I do a gift away is to do um, gift certificates from her, gift cards, whatever, whatever they are, e-gifts, e-cards, whatever, whatever. So I know she's kind of struggling. So this way here, it, you know, would open her up to more people. So, and I want to ask her how I can go about doing that. Because I didn't find anything on, I didn't find anything on the, um, the website. So. Which would be kind of nice. Got to support the local businesses. So, besides that, I think I'm going to need some specialty threads there. Now, when I looked on there for the um, Angel of Christmas, I really was looking at the, um, you know, floss list. And there was one it was supposed to be with um, um, one strand of white with one, st or two strands of white with one of blending filament. Well, you know, that's not going to happen. So I thought, Great place to use my A12. So that's what I'm going to use there. Then there's another thing that has, it's like part of her ruffles on her sash. And it's in green. So I'm thinking of, I might use an A12 there. Or I might see about, um getting um, petite braid in a dark green. So instead of metallic, I'll have to see. So, but I thought if we can go there to Lizzie B's there, I can, um, kind of, you know, kill two birds with one stone type of thing. That's an awful term. Hit two seagulls with one stone. <laughs> Darn seagulls. Blue jays. The blue jays, yes. Yeah. So, it's, um, so I guess we'll, I will have to see. It depends on, 
how much time we've got and and that. So I think we're going to, we may go over that way first so we can get that all done and then come back, have lunch. And then um, after lunch, go to Dollarama or Dollar Tree, whatever one, and um, Walmart. Because I think that's where we're going to go is Walmart this time. So... Yeah. So. Oh, make sure that you are always subscribed because um, uh, my numbers went down and I keep asking people, are you subscribed? Are you subscribed? And I, I know it's that they like to be kicked off there. I don't know why that happens. I really, I don't understand why. And I guess it's really not meant for me to know why. But. So I haven't decided yet how I'm going to do it. If I'll do a video later on today. Or will I. And chances are I'll be up early tomorrow and just do another video tomorrow morning and then just have it so it loads during the time that I'm gone. Yeah. So I might end up doing it on my iPad again. So, because uh, I take my phone with me. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. But otherwise, I, I don't even know who else I watched. I, few, I watched a few others. Oh, there was... Oh, I watched Java Girl Stitches yesterday. And that one was pretty good. guess the other lady had come back um, and she, she had moved to, oh gosh, doing poorly with my names today again, but um, yeah, so it's just ding, ding. So, um, yeah, I watched that, and that was, I enjoyed that. It was a great testimonial at the beginning. Very, very much so. And I was just like, you go, girl. Yes, yes, yes. It was just beautiful, like what her and her husband had gone through. And, um, and then their move from California to, was it Arizona or Nevada? One of them. And um, so, yeah. It, it's just amazing what we as human beings, sorry, my back itches, um, what we go through in our lifetimes. You know, like what we go through in our lives. It's it's just, you know, and I think back to when I was younger and I think, you know, when you're going through it, you just think there's no end that it's just not going to, um, why are you going through this? Why is this happening? All that kind of thing. 
And yet in everything, we see God's hand in it. Even though when you're going through it, you, you just kind of, you know, why is this happening to me? Oh, woe is me. But then as time passes and we get a, um, oh, nothing, um, we gain perspective on it. It, um, you really begin to see it, that things just don't happen randomly. Things happen for a reason. And sometimes those reasons are not found out until years or even decades later. I know with all the rubbish that I had gone through as a child, as a young adult, you know, I, I was thinking, I, I was so angry and hurt and damaged and just, um, just beside myself. And yet, through it all, through it all, I look back and I realize how much it was that Jesus was, was with me every step of the way. You know that footprints in the sand? That's the way that it was. And you really realize that you think that you're walking alone, but it wasn't your footsteps steps you saw, but Jesus's. It was Jesus that was carrying me throughout it all. And I am so grateful that he he was there and he continues to be there for me and um you know there's there's no other name as sweet as the name of Jesus i think that's a song somewhere I know, I, I, th I think it's a Protestant song. And um, I know we as Catholics, I don't believe that's part of our repertoire. No. So, yeah. So, this Sunday, there will be a live from 12 noon to 2.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, it's... You know, even though we are in the depths of our grief and um, anger and rage, just know that nothing happens without God's approval. So these nightmares that I have are ways for me to learn to deal with things. That it, it really brings me to the point where it's, it just happened that this nightmare was just so, I was so in its grip. 
But I also know that because of that nightmare, I have taken that this itch with a B, that it's taken it from some nameless person whose face I never saw. And I have now put a face to her. So, which was wonderful. That means I'm 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 getting to it. Like I'm I'm beginning to um I'm getting gaining clarity. So Anyways, did anybody else join me for Mini Monday yesterday? I loved it. Now, my design here that I was working on, which is Hello Fall from Stitching with the Housewives. What they have in there, see I got pumpkins finished. Uh, I didn't do any more on it but underneath pumpkins they have the word football well i'm not into sports so i'm going to change football over to harvest i was trying to think of a word that i could put that would you know that i could put in there instead of football and all of a sudden, I was talking to Juliet, and I was saying, I don't know what word goes. <laughs> and then it was harvest. Harvest popped up. So, see, that's the beauty of, of doing stitching, you know, on your, um, on your own, is that you can do... Um, you can do your your own thing. You know, you don't have to do it that you follow what they say. You know, if if you don't like a certain word, if you don't like, you know, like say they had footballs in there and I... I don't like that. I would put leaves in there or more leaves. You know, so it's, yeah, you can just kind of change it any which way. But I know there was somebody who said that she's working on a bookmark. Awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yes, it's anything that is small, minis, you know, um, maybe you have a sampler type thing, a bigger sampler, and you say, gee, this is what I'm going to work on for mini Mondays. And I like it because... You know, as I get one finished, then I can do another one and get them slowly finished. So, because I've had some of these in um, my good notes for a long time, and I want to get, I want to get rid of them. I want, I want to work on them. Oh, for crying out loud, did that wrong that wrong so but we will work on that again next Monday and hopefully you know tomorrow maybe when I or tonight when I do my video I will be a little bit more bright-eyed and bushy-tailed 
But I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to lay down on the sofa for just, just a little bit. I doubt I will sleep because I don't normally sleep. But I'm just, like, it took so much out of me. So much out of me. Um, so much energy and everything else that I just, yeah. So, but I'm thrilled here how my nutcrackers are turning out. I will tell you. I'm getting to the end of my tolerance for it. And uh, I think that I will be giving it up here soon. When I, I think when I'm finished this color. So, but that's where I'm at. So here you can see. See, right there. But I did quite a bit. I did quite a bit for this month on it. Yes. Because then I want to throw myself into the um, you know what I did again? I used two strands. Oh well, oh well, oh well. <laughs> boo-boos happen. <laughs> and right now I'm the queen of boo-boos. <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> I hope you have a good day. And um, the next time you will, I'll tell you about what was going on there on uh, Thursday and what we did in Winnipeg and all of that. So <clears throat> looking forward to it, get to spend an, a day with my bestie and to do shopping. So how, how can, and I don't have to drive. <laughs> and I don't have to drive. So may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you. And so do I. So does Miss Twinkle Tozers. Oh, Miss Lily Bell. She's laying there. She's got her tongue out. Like that. She's such a sweet baby. And Jonah, who's up in the cat condo over there. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody's sleeping and I'm going to lay down for half an hour just just to get a power nap or recharge or something so thank you jesus for being my lord and savior thank you for saving me from my sins thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments thank you for loving me like you do thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven and that's a prayer i pray for all of you as well and yes i do I do every day. Absolutely, I do. All right, everybody, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you on the next video and then the video after that. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I got to lay down. All right, everybody. Diddle littles, everybody.